So once again, you can see here that I'm using the Auto Engineering Ingenuity Scan Tool with the full GM upgrade, which costs an extra hundred bucks. And the idea is to try to figure out which one of these uh, airbag sensors is gone. As you can see here, it says Supplemental Inflatable Restraint, Restraint, Code B0083, Front Impact Sensor 1, which I can go to the uh, internet here and check out B0083, Front End Sensor, and it's going to tell me if it's the left or right, hopefully. Most any any website will tell you. I think it already says front left impact sensor on this website. In this workshop manual. Whoa. So a so a B0083 left impact sensor short to battery. I assume the thing needs to be replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it. So before doing any work on the airbag sensors, disconnect the battery for 30 minutes. Some people say more, 30 minutes I'm going to do. Okay, so today we're going to be changing the front airbag sensor on the Chevy Tahoe 2007. So you can see, we want to have it slightly jacked up so we'll have lots of room to get underneath. When you get underneath, You'll see this plastic guard, it's going to have to be removed to ease access to the sensors which are located, which you'll be able to see once it's off, wherever they are. If you can look up in here with this flashlight, you'll see the yellow tags hanging off the wires up there. And that's your sensors. There's one on each side. So we'll go ahead and grab a 15 millimeter socket wrench, take out four bolts to remove this plastic cover. So the plastic cover came off pretty easy. Now you just have a much more open area to look at. And you can see the sensor, one sensor is right there. And the other one is underneath the other side of the radiator, right up there. And this truck is pretty rusty. So here's the sensor after having removed the bolt. It's a 10 millimeter bolt, which comes right out, and the sensor will just fall right down. Okay, so you can see I got the original airbag sensor off. Just kind of dangling right here. Now we just got to get that uh, little yellow connector out of the back. So there's a little trick here. You just need to remove that yellow, or sorry, that orange uh, tab. And then um, the yellow part will just come right out. Of course, at this point, the battery's been disconnected for quite a while over an hour. Okay. So the orange. So the orange piece, all you have to do is just put a flat top in here, give it a little, uh, give it a little nudge right here, and it'll come right out. Sorry for the light. So that orange piece comes right out. Now you're left with a yellow. You just have to push down on this tab, and the yellow connector comes right out. There you go, so it just comes right out. Original piece. Okay, so what I have here to replace the uh, original airbag sensor with is a uh, Dorman model 59203 from my 07 Shift Tahoe, which is about 50% cheaper than the uh, original equipment. So you can see the two parts here, the used part, the new part, it's got a little bit of a part number, a difference in the part number because it's from a different uh, manufacturer. So you can go ahead and plug this in, screw it on, see what happens. So here we go. We just take the same connector, it's going to fit up back, back on the vehicle like this. So you want to plug this back in. 
like so. And then you want to put the orange protector. This just keeps it from coming out by accident. Put that back in. It's all back together. As you can see, new part. Now we're just going to bolt it back in place. Right up there again. And we'll go from there. Okay, so there it is back in place. You can see it back there. Right back where it was. So I'm not sure about the torques back on that nut, on that bolt, but uh, judging on the length and uh, threads, you know, it's got to be pretty tight. If the sensor attempts to turn on you a little bit as you're putting it in, it's, it's kind of locked in place, but it can turn a little bit. You want to try to keep it straight because that's the way that's the way the, the computer detects it. So it needs to be facing straight ahead just like it was. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the battery back on, hook the power back to the, to the vehicle. My little case, my little case fell apart. I'll fix that up and then we'll see if the light goes out on the dash. Okay, so back in the vehicle here, I'm going to turn the key on and stay clear of the airbag system and the steering wheel. You never know. Okay, so vehicle's on, airbags are still. The airbag light is blinking here. See if it goes out. And it did. So let's start her up, make sure it stays out. Run our checks. Okay, the airbag light is out. Still got a couple lights, ABS, I know what that is, and, uh, and as a result, traction control. But the airbag system appears to be back in shape. And that's it. Thank you very much.